friends say that they've been separated for more than a year. Oh. And if he were to get back together with her, they believe that she would go back to him. However, guess what? He's seen somebody new, and she's having trouble accepting that. I think she put a nail in the coffin of their reconciliation. Yeah, good Judy, luck. I see you shaking your head as well. Do you think she is depressed from all that, and perhaps that's some of what's going on here? Or is there something more of an acting out nature? In other words, she's aggressive and trying to get retribution. Well, Dr. Drew, I think that there is a huge problem here in terms of her impulse control, whatever she's going yep, on. Yep. So, you know, maybe she is depressed. We're certainly not excusing it because a lot of people who are depressed do not act out in this way. Oh, of course not. Yeah. Right. So there's something there's something else missing here. I feel like there there is that bent of somebody who is trying to get retribution. But the fact that she has such poor decision making leads me to believe that maybe she has a personality disorder right. where she fears abandonment. And this just triggered a whole right. set of issues. So, so Chris, let's let's put a fine point on that. The, the fear of abandonment is, is one thing, but when they are abandoned, they sometimes just fall apart, people with these kinds of characters. Yeah, ab absolutely. I'm not surprised. This woman sounds like someone who has poor boundaries, yeah. and I'd be nervous about her around any social media or any children at this point. Yeah. And I think that this is a little bit of a forecasting, because with social media being so utilized, we're going to see a lot more of these kind of situations with sex drive gone wrong. That's interesting. I think you're right.